region, you got the walk on KO. A great man. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a fan of, of a guy from Mel from Australia named Mark Hunt, so I can do the same as he normally do. So for me, it was great. Did you know as soon as you hit him that it's over? Yes, I mean I know. I, I I'm very confident in my my power, either in my kick and my hands. So as soon as I touch him, I touch his chin. I, I knew it was out. Isn't it, is it a cool experience? Like obviously he's the hometown, hometown guy here, but yet they still appreciate you, still give you applause afterwards. Is that like a that's very cool experience. I'm, I'm looking forward to come back here. All week was nice. People nice with me, wishing me good luck, and and, and they didn't boo me down there. So, which is I love it. I mean, I'm a, I'm professional. It could be today was my day. Maybe the next day so it's just in tough. You know, this I, lo I love the crowd. Did you were you waiting for him to open up with that overhand? Because he just looked like he just. Went way too wide on that punch. You know, he, he, yeah. We watched three videos of, of Justin Taffa, all the same. Wide or uh, left, uh, left overhand and uppercut. He actually finished three guys like that. So we work in all, all camp, uh, pull back right hand and, and straight right hand, which is quicker than overhand. So that's what we did. So that you credit that knockout to your coaches and the scouting. Really. I didn't want to do that because he's going to get, he's not going to train me anymore, but yes. My striking coach got the credit on this one. We work, <laughs> we working a lot on this. <laughs> yes. You mentioned Mark Hunt. You know, you didn't fight Mark here, but you did fight somebody from that camp. Is it, I guess, a little extra special moment that you fought someone from such a tough? Yes, very, very, yes. I mean, I love those guys. I love. I mean, I'm a fan of. I mean, I'm a UFC fighter right now, but I was a UFC fan a couple months ago. So I, I, I watching uh, Mark Hunt, Taito Vasa. Uh, even Justin Taffa brought it, the, the junior Taffa. So I, like, I, I watch those guys. I know they're brawl and I know they what they do. So I'm a fan, and, and right now I get to fight someone for that camp. It was good to me. Looking at what you your performance here today, where would you place yourself in the division right now? Where do you where do you feel like you fit in the heavyweight division? Well, I'm I'm still kind of kind of green. I mean, that's what people are gonna say. I'm six and zero. A lot to prove, but but I mean, I'm good, good there. I want to be on that spot. I want to be on that that spot. They they're gonna overlook me, they want to underestimate me, and then I'm going to keep proving them wrong and, and keep winning. I'm sure there's guys you've been watching for quite some time that you've you know, thought about and wanted to get in there and fight. Give us a list of some of the guys that you want to challenge yourself with. Not going to happen. You're not going to trick me on that one. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm not going to call people out. No, no, no. I want to fight anyone. That's an easy one. No, I mean, uh, honestly, I want to fight. I mean, whatever UFC give it to me, I, I, I will fight. I know this. I'm going to go step by step. I'm 6-0. They, they sign a lot of guys with the same record than me. So whatever UFC give it to me, I will take it. But no names. You just fought in front of... 55,000 people. What was the biggest crowd you fought in front of before this? Did you remember? 300 people in Twin River Casino like a couple months ago. January 19, I was talking to my coach. He said, January 19, we are fighting in front of 300 people. I was rushing in to sell tickets and make some money. And now we're fighting there. This was good for us. Being here already was great. And win, I mean, got the, the job done like that was crazy. Is this well, how, the most... how does it feel compared to fighting in front of 300 people versus? 55, That's what I try to do. I try to block everything. Uh, if my coach keeps talking my ear, dude, this is just another fight. This is just another sparring. Uh, uh, forget about the crowd and focus on, on your opponent, and you will do good. That's what I try to. I mean, it was hard because I, I keep looking up. It was like, <laughs> oh my god. I mean, they about to, but they were cool. They were. They want to see a show. They want to see a good fight, and that's what I'm. I'm every time I step in the case, there's going to be either I get knocked out or going to knock someone out. No names. How about when? I want to fight December. I want. I'm, I mean, I'm healthy. I need money. I mean, I'm going right back to work right now. So, so I need to fight three and three months UFC. Give me fight, please. I want to fight. I want to do this a full time. This is what I'm born to do. What do you do when you're not fighting? I'm a security in the, in the high school. Slap kids around. Over there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they like me. They love me. They know. <laughs> Had a job no. <laughs> what did this fight mean for you and your family? These fights, this is the thing. I, I keep thinking all week. I get a chance to to change a lot of people's lives. My wife, my daughter, my mother, my brothers, uh, and and probably help a lot of more people. And, and this is great for me. I hope they give me the bonus because I'm going to need it and, and I'm going to use it the right way. And this fight means a life change for me. What's the first thing you're going to do from here with the paycheck and maybe the bonus? I don't even know. 
I never got that kind of money, so <laughs> I have no idea. Was this a one-fight deal or was this multi-fight? I got four. I got, I, yeah, I got signed by uh, Contender Series, so I got four fights. Four, four, four fight. But we got to, I hope they make their contract better. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm talking about? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> that, that Contender Fair wasn't the biggest. Yes. <laughs> yes, you got it. Good. Thank you very much, guys. I appreciate it, man. Thank you.